Just see you? Yeah, man, long time, right? <laughs> Talk about man, a quick turnaround like that. I mean, how did it all come together? Lay it out for us. Um, uh, first of all, it's awesome. I'm thankful for the opportunity. Um, so I fought like, it feels like a month ago now, but like a couple of days ago. <laughs> um, and so I got home on like Sunday night. On Tuesday, my manager called me and was like, you know, it's time for a new contract. I said, all right, bet. He's like, when you want to fight again? I was like, you know, I'm cornering Chukagian, so like maybe November, December. He's like, okay, cool. He calls me back in an hour. He's like, <laughs> he's like, all right, how about next week with, <laughs> with Caitlin Vieira? And I was like, how much? <laughs> and he told me, and I was like, hell yeah, hell yeah, I'm there. And then it wasn't until I said, hell yeah, I was like, wait, where is it? He's like, Fire Island. I was like, oh, shit, all right, <laughs> I'll take that too, even better. I was going to say, even better? I mean, you got to fly halfway around the world and, and all that. I mean, does that, is it fun or is it challenging? It's it's both. And and I think the challenge is what makes it so fun. Um, I, 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 at first I saw how far, like I've been to Abu Dhabi before and it's a hell of a flight. Um, and so I was like, you know, like that's that's a flight, but for this kind of opportunity, like why not? My, my goal is to fight frequently. My goal is to get to the top. And when you get when you get the opportunity to fight the number six, you can't you can't say no. Yeah, I was gonna say, I mean, we know she's coming off a loss, but at the same time, I mean, she was like close to a title shot before that, you know what I mean? So even though she had that setback, you still feel like this is a, a you know, a, a, I don't say an honor of a matchup, but yeah, you had a chance to move up. Hell yeah, hell yeah, it's a chance to move up. It's a great matchup. I'd have fought the, the four, six, seven, 10 for for that kind of opportunity and I've always wanted to do some like gangster shit like turn right back around like or, or get a short notice fight or something like that I see guys do it in their careers and I've always wanted to do something real cool like that in my career so it's, it's like a, a bucket list check so I was like hell yeah I'm there and besides like I mean the island's been fantastic so I'm having a blast how about the weight cut side of it like I do the repeated weight cuts in a short period of time is that an issue or is it, is it, is it maybe even a benefit um, it's a benefit. I'm still I'm still in fight shape. Um, I'm still pretty low. Um, I didn't get a chance to do too much junk food, so <laughs> I had I took my daughter out for ice cream on Monday, and that was about the most damage I did. So we got back on the plane and, and came right back. Right. Um, so I feel good. I'm already look. I'm at 45 already. So we we rocking and rolling for real. Talk about the matchup itself as far as breakdown. I mean, is this? Did you feel like you knew enough about her game already? Obviously, you don't get a lot of time to prep with, with this sort of a turnaround, right? Did you, did you feel comfortable that you already knew enough about her game or that it just didn't matter? Yeah, man, I've been stalking every girl in the top 15 for like the entire time I've been in the division. I stalk kind of all the divisions. I know what's going on in flyweight for real. Um, so I, I knew who she was. I knew the type of style she was bringing. Um, and I think stylistically it's a great matchup for me. And honestly, like I said, it could have been anybody like for, for that kind of opportunity I'd have taken it nice and last thing for me I mean what would a victory mean here for you I mean obviously you've had so many starts and stops and all these ups and downs this would be a nice little run here in 2020 that you'd have so what would a victory here mean for you it, it mean quite a lot and it would it would be a great a great chance for me to keep this momentum going that's what I kept talking about after Sarah Morris and like I want to fight frequently I want to keep going strike why the iron's hot so it would mean a lot to me and it would obviously mean a lot to my ranking and it would mean a lot to my goal my goal is to be the champion one day and and I don't care how long it takes or who I got to fight to get there it's going to put me in a in a nice spot after this without going into exact figures could you give an estimate of how much of a percentage your contract got boosted up because you took this fight um and if um, you didn't expect <laughs> how would it work Oh, uh, okay, so percentages. <laughs> <laughs> Give us like, like, how much do you think you've been bumped up because you took um, al Almost double. Yeah? Yeah, almost. Nice. Like, yeah. a little less than, than, than what it would have been. You happy with it? Hell oh, yeah. And we're going to keep we're gonna keep them contracts coming, baby. We're going to keep cashing checks. That's what I'm here for. If it was the same paycheck, do you think you wouldn't have accepted this? Short no, honestly, I'm crazy enough. See, I don't want to see that. Nah, I, I probably would have, <laughs> but you know, man, we gotta negotiate. That's why I have a manager. That's that's why you have management. Cause we're fighters, we're nuts. I'd be like, yeah, like we'll fight. Like fighters been fighting for pennies. If you look all the way back, like we're nuts. But Ali takes good care of me. Ali knows, like you have a child. I'm gonna make sure you can take care of her. And I was like, thank you, <laughs> cause uh, he took good care of me. He made sure he negotiated that up good for me. Before one of your last fights on one of the virtual medias, you spoke a lot on the state of women's MMA and how it's. You think it's like progressing faster than men. So now you're the only female fight on this card, and you're also on the main card of a massive pay per view. So what does that mean for women's MMA? Hey, it's dope. We're on a massive. We're on a massive pay per view. I mean, to be on the same card as Adesanya, I think that's that's dope. Um, we've also got the light heavyweight title on the line. That's dope. And we're two top fifteen women going at it in a in a in a division that needs a little spark. 
in the division that needs some new blood and some new heat because, uh, you know, in the last couple of years, Amanda's cleaned it out. So I think to put two women on a show that's going to have a lot of eyeballs on it is going to help the division and, and help help women's MMA as a whole. The Starway's been holding it down. They've been they've been bringing some ex exciting fights, so it's about time the band and weight start bringing some heat as well. Now, I know you're not looking past Saturday, but I, I assume you think you're going to win, so how closely are you going to be watching that Holly Holm? Oh, I was going to like a hawk, baby. I, I watch all these girls like a hawk. They might not know me. I know all of them. I'm, I'm, mm, mm, whether, I don't care what happens on Saturday. I'm going to be watching that fight. Do you like that matchup? I mean, if Holly wins, she might get another title fight. And I think a lot of people thought that Aldana had done enough to just get the title shot of Bantamway already. Um, I think Aldana's, Aldana's done a lot to get there. But, as, okay, so like removing myself as a fighter. I'm not too mad at, at Adana taking one more one more win before she gets to Nunez. And Nunez is fighting at 45, so you got to stay active in the division. I think as a fighter, I wouldn't want to wait. I'd, I'd probably want to fight maybe, but I'm not in Aldana's shoes. So, um, you know, just kind of from analyst point of view, I would say Aldana probably needs maybe one more to get that title shot. Um, she came off a, a nice knockout of, of my opponent coming up this weekend. So, um, and I think... I think if Aldana beat Holmes, it, it solidifies her as the next contender. I think coming straight off of that knockout of Caitlin kind of is like, mm, do you give her a shot or not? I think if Aldana beat Holmes, that's that's for sure uh, a title contender. And, and Holmes has been a title contender forever, man. So um, if she wins, she's right back up there where, where she's been for the last couple of years. Do you think Aldana does beat Holly? I think so. I think so. Um, I think her boxing is a little bit crisper. It's going to be a bit of a striking fight. And I just think boxing beats kickboxing, just stylistically. Um, and Holly's more of a kickboxer. And all due respect to Holly Holm, I, I think she's amazing. But I think she's a, a little bit over the hump, maybe. Um, but that's me on, on my analyst tip. Get, I got paycheck number two. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to get a desk job with that kind of answer. And Angela's here doing analyst work this whole week, too. Yeah, Angela's here. I just spoke to her. That's my girl. So I was giving. I was like, so how'd you get this job? Because it looks pretty sweet. Um, I got. I got a few other goals for 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 my career and my life. So hopefully that'll whoever's watching, whoever makes that decision. <laughs> Dana. Oh well, psh, psh, easy. Come on, Dana. Dana. I'm, I have no problem talking to Dana. I usually yell at him, but I've been. I've been. Yelling less and, and more cooperative with Dana. I, uh, I, I love Dana. He's cool. I like to give him some shit, though. Cool. Cool? Awesome. Thank Thanks, you. guys.